Why is tax a curse word? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Fervent Four. Did you know that only 4% of businesses ever cross the annual million dollar revenue mark? Hello, I'm Zach Miller, author of Anomaly. With me today, I have my co-host, Tim Ryan, lead man at startwheel.org. Thank you so much for joining us. The Fervent Four is a weekly show each and every Thursday at 11 a.m. dedicated dedicated to sharing insights into growing a world-class business no matter the climate. Misty Leinberger from Pixel Financial Group loves numbers, business, and well, we'll figure out some of her hidden loves next on Fervent <laughs> 4. Misty, Tim, what's up? Welcome Good. to this wonderfully Good. beautiful weather, precipitation, windy, <laughs> rainy, whatevery day. But not snowy or icy, so I can live with it. So. Not here in the roads of Camden. <laughs> Apparently, other places, they don't have power. They don't have all that kind of craziness. So that's it's it's good that things are good here. So yeah. So Misty, what's something that you love that is not business and is not numbers? Oh goodness, uh, there's quite a few things. But I really like spending time with my family. Doing you know, we like to go on adventures, whether it's camping, whether it's skiing, which we don't get to do this year. You know, skiing because like of COVID or skiing because of mostly because of COVID just yeah. because it's just a different uh, dynamic now, but yeah, you know, those are the kinds of things we like to go have adventures. Interesting. So from a skiing perspective with COVID is, is it just, are, are there crazy rules doing it or? It's, it's just more of a hassle. Everything has to be scheduled. And honestly, if I'm going okay. on vacation, I don't want to schedule something, which is what I have to do to go skiing is okay, go I'm on vacation. So. 104. Right. Exactly. So I just like, whatever, <laughs> I'll just do it next time. Interesting. Tim. Favorite favorite place to ski? Where, like favorite where place to ski? Okay. Yeah. Well, I started skiing in Whistler in Canada before it became trendy and was the place to go for the Olympics. Wow. So mm -hmm. loved Whistler. And then when Whistler started to become a little bit too crazy, once they were selected for the Olympics, we started going a little bit further east to Sun Peaks. But I'm from the Pacific Northwest, so I spent a lot of time sk uh, skiing on Baker, Mount Baker over there but spent a lot of time in Canada too. My favorite, favorite place to ski. Up All there. right. So you're like legit skier. You're not like, I get it. <laughs> there was a hill when I went to college and I had skis and it was called Wisp in Maryland. And uh, I called it a hill and I, and it always terrified me. So I'm not <laughs> going to, uh, to say that I could ski. Tim, can you ski? It's been a long time. I think the last time I skied was in Turkey of all places. And I, wow. uh, I kicked my you know, I kicked myself for being, we were in Europe and Germany for three years and never skied and probably some of the best skiing ever, but we'll, we'll get back. You know, I think <laughs> the greatest thing about skiing is the dumb and dumber outfits from their ski resort. You know, I, oh. I think... <laughs> that's great. Do, I mean, do, do people wear those there? Cause I never did. And I, I never, I've never been able to find one of those things to purchase. I totally would. But I mean, have you ever seen people wear outfits like that? Out? I actually have. They, I've seen some pretty crazy things out there on the mountain. So I saw a guy dressed as a, uh, as a T-Rex <laughs> skiing down the mountain one time. Wow. So like the blow up T-Rex things? Uh, no, it was just a regular T-Rex. This was before the blow up costumes, I guess. This was a long uh, time ago, long time ago, but yeah. <laughs> good on him. Okay, so you are big into numbers. When you're watching, uh, obviously, CPA, MBA, a lot of other other um, letters that I we, we haven't mentioned that we need to talk about, like ABCs. You know your ABCs, I think. I, and, I do know my right. ABCs. My business partner Nicole is a CMA, you know, certified okay. management accountant. So that's pretty important too. I don't. I don't <laughs> release what letters I am. Um, it's not public information. So, um, where was I going with this? Oh, okay.